Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. On this session, we're going to learn how to use the hover effects on Flinto. And these are called uh, mouse all over and mouse out, and you can find them over here on the gestures panel. Uh, but let me show you first how the previewing, what we're going to do. So uh, here on the, we have different buttons and when you hover on them, oops, sorry, when you hover on them, different uh, animations happen. It just like uh, animates to different screens. And this is pretty much pretty, pretty simple. And then once you tap on this, oh yes. And then it goes back, just a loop. So let me show you how I did this. I have a sketch file here and I have all the different screens of all the different states when you hover uh, of any of these buttons. So it starts with how big should breakfast be? And that's, that's probably not correct grammar, but uh, okay, you can probably correct it. Uh, and it starts with just a banana. And then once you hover over the buttons, it would uh, it would change to a different screen. It would just create a transition to a different screen. So I have small, and then on small, I have uh, over here, uh, it, it just appears a coffee next to the banana and the button uh, changes. When I hover over moderate, uh, a donut appears, and then so on. When I hover over big, it, the breakfast gets a little bit bigger and then when you hover over Colossus, my idea is that uh, a huge uh, breakfast appears. And then just a, just a, a, a success uh, screen that will automatically loop back to the first question. Okay, so I have all of this. I'm going to go ahead and, and send this to Flinto. I have my sketch file. Send it to Flinto. I'm going to, right now. I'm using a desktop HD default uh, size from Sketch. And I'm just going to send it at 100%. And I'm going to make this, it opens Flinto for me and I have all the screens here. And as you can see, it looks like this, exactly like the sketch file. I have all my layers, all my groups, and I have all, all the different things that I can add, start animating. And all the screens are here, even on the same, uh, on the same arrangement that I had it on my sketch file. So I'm going to go ahead and create the first uh, transition, the first, uh, the, event and I'm going to actually create the bigger one, the one that is Colossus. And I'm just going to duplicate the animation that I create from this one. Since this one has all the elements here, I'm just going to create this from, uh, once I create this one, I just duplicate that transition, that animation on all of the other ones and it will just work because the same elements appear here, but just not all of them. Uh, something also that I need to uh, tell you is that all of the elements here on, on on the Colossus breakfast appear also here. You cannot see them, but they're also here. They are at opacity 0%, but you can also see them here. And they're they're all in the center at opacity 0%. That way it sets the starting point of my animation. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a gesture to this Colossus uh, button. I'm going to add, and instead of tap, I'm going to go to mouse over. This is where the magic happens. And the target, I'm going to select the Colossus uh, the Colossus uh, uh, screen. And then I'm going to create a new transition. And here in the transition designer, I have all of my uh, my two screens. As you can see, let me zoom out a little bit. I have my two screens, and now I can start animating my elements. So instead of actually animating, I'm actually going to connect all the different layers that are appear here. So again, as I told you, for example, this one, Pancake, appears on the end screen, but it's also on the start screen. So over here, Pancake, it's here, but this one is at a passer 0% and it's in the center. So I can just start connecting these layers and it will create a transition for me. So to connect the layers, I'm going to select Pi and Pi, and I just connect them. I press, uh, select hot dog, and then I press command and I select hot dog here on this other screen and just connect layers here on this button. And I'm going to do the same to, with all the different uh, all the different food that is connected. That's it. I think uh, I've, all the different uh, layers are connected. Now I want to move this artboard to the center of the screen because the artboard should be all the transitions uh, happen inside the artboard inside the screen and not between screens. So I have everything here. Let's test it. And then, there you go. Everything is moving into place since all the layers are connected. I'm going to actually change the uh, the timing of all these elements of all the food. So I'm going to select all of these guys, even the shadow. I'm going to select all these layers. And over here on the timing panel, I'm going to uh, m move the friction a little bit to the left and the tension, again, also to the left. I want to create a bouncy effect. So probably, let's... There you go, around there. 
and let's let's test it. There you go. It looks good. It's exactly what I wanted. You can play around with the timing and just like get it perfect as you want. Right now, the duration of this animation is 766 milliseconds. Probably if it's too long for you, you can play around with these uh, parameters. And okay, I'm going to actually name this transition too, and I'm going to just call it food appears. Or you can call it hover effect or whatever. I'm going to save it. And now the cool thing is that I can start uh, reusing that animation on all the other uh, elements. So for example, here on small button, I'm going to add a gesture that is, uh, again, a mouse over. And I'm going to uh, select the small screen. Small screen, and I'm going to use the same transition, foot appears, done. And now, OK, I added two, uh, two different uh, and gestures on hover effects, but I want also to add a gesture when you hover out. So over here on this uh, screen, I'm going to add a hover effect to this one, but the, it's going to be a mouse out gesture. And on the mouse out, I can use I can do two things. I can add a back link, or I can also use the uh, the select the uh, the original uh, screen, which is a start, and add a new uh, transition that's the same transition that we use, but do it in back and reverse, like with this button. So there are two ways of doing it. Um, I'm going to do this with the, on, on this uh, uh, button, and I'm going to do the opposite, the other option on this one, just so we can see that it hap the, the, the same thing happens. Mouse out, and then the target is going to be back link, and I don't need to add a transition or anything because the same transition that was used to get there is going to be used. So I'm going to preview this, and it opens here, and I hover and the elements appear, I hover out and then they disappear. The same here, they appear, I hover out and then they disappear. And I use, again, over here I use the back link to go out, to sorry, to return the elements to the center. And here I just use the same transition, but in reverse. They both create the same effect. So obviously using the back link sounds way easier, so I'm just going to use the back link on this one. And Actually, there's a there's a really easy way to, to do this by pressing F and then selecting here the back link and then instead of tap, just mouse out. That is an easy way to do it too. I'm going to do the same here. F, back link, mouse out. And now, obviously, you need to create links to this. So F to this screen and then mouse over. And I'm going to select the same screen, the same transition, foot appears. Now this one is big F mouse over and then foot appears as my transition. Let's see how it's looking. So I hover. There you go. So it looks like I can reuse that same transition and all my elements are appearing just how I wanted them. And now I want to, just to create the loop, I want to add a tap effect, uh, sorry, a tap gesture. I'm going to add a gesture here, to add a gesture, tap, and then the target is going to be Colossus selected. And then the transition is going to be, I'm going to actually use the same transition. And I'm going to edit the transition. And here, apparently it didn't connect these two guys. So I'm going to connect these two, like the, the two titles from the two screens, and then to connect them. And then the uh, behavior here on the connected layer is going to be crossfade. Let's preview. There you go. And apparently these guys are not fading out. And that's because these guys, all these buttons, and the behavior, instead of fading and screen, I should use crossfade too. And now let's see. There you go. Save and exit. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. And now I want to add a time transition to this screen that gets me, puts me back on the first screen. So I'm going to go ahead and select this screen. I'm going to uh, add a timer link here. I can do it here or I can just press F since I'm selecting the artboard. Press F and then select this screen, and automatically gives me, it creates a timer link for me. I'm going to say 100 milliseconds, and I'm going to say that it slides, that it pushes left. I'm going to say done. Let's preview it. Select Colossus, and then it, it returns, and I create a loop. Perfect. So, so yeah, that's how you uh, use hover effects, uh, how you use the mouse over and mouse out on Flinto. Hopefully that helps you to create awesome, awesome prototypes.